Minimalism is not about owning as few things as possible. It's more about owning what brings meaning into your life. So here are a few things I do not buy anymore as a minimalist. What I stopped buying is copies of things I already have. For example, I only need one pair of sneakers, these white ones. Yes, it would be nice sometimes to have a different color, but at the end, white goes with everything and they're super comfortable. The same goes for running shoes. I could have multiple shoes for different occasions, for example running in the woods, running on the streets and so on. But I have one running shoe that does everything. The same applies to my jacket. I have one jacket I basically wear from autumn throughout winter to spring. I have one rain jacket and one light jacket. Having to buy only one thing for every type of clothing allows me to spend sometimes more on that particular piece. And this also makes me buy something that's higher quality and that lasts me longer. And at the end, a good benefit as well is that everything I own is my favorite item. So when I go out, I wear my favorite sneaker with my favorite jacket and my favorite backpack. Thankfully in Switzerland, you can drink the tap water anywhere. And because of that, I stopped drinking bottled water. Since years ago, I invested in a water bottle that's also isolated and that will last me many, many years. And since then, I stopped carrying water bottles from grocery stores as I simply drink the tap water that we have at home. It is also more convenient, it is cheaper and it is more environmentally friendly. Yes, at the end, you can recycle plastic bottles, but we do not really know where they end up at the end. I know the tap water is not drinkable in every country, unfortunately, but maybe if your tap water is still kind of okay, you can use a filter to make it drinkable. My shopping for clothes is intentional and of course I don't buy any fast fashion pieces anymore. This means I buy clothing with simple or no branding at all and yes no funky cat socks as well this not only makes it easier to match different clothes and pieces together it also makes sure that i don't get bored of the clothing items that fast plus i really don't like the idea of you wearing a t-shirt with a huge print of the brand in front of your chest and basically you're paying them to, so that you can make advertisement for them it's kind of crazy if I think about it. So if you're curious, some of my favorite brands where I shop at are Patagonia, Uniqlo, Muji and Lululemon. They all offer simple to non-branding on their clothing. They're environmentally friendly. They offer high quality materials and Uniqlo Mochi, for example, for a very decent price. Alcoholic beverages and cocktails tend to be on the pricier side, especially here in Switzerland. If you go out, for example, to a restaurant or a bar, it's going to be very expensive. And I stopped consuming alcoholics and beverages many, many years ago. And I also just don't feel the need anymore of ordering something alcoholic just to fit in, because most of the time there is also free alcoholics alternatives but i tend to stay away from these as well because i just don't like the taste i rather enjoy a high quality cup of tea that's more healthy that's relaxing to me and it just tastes so much better some of my recent favorites of teas include a peach blend from a local store in Copenhagen where we just went to. So since the colder days are coming, you can find me drinking a lot more tea. Every year there are upgrades presented to us for our phones, our TVs, our laptops and so on. These updates are most of the time so subtle. They need the best marketing strategies to get them sold to us. I think you should ask yourself if this upgrade was not out there. Would your phone, for example, still work? And if your answer is yes, then you should not go and spend this money on something you literally already have. For example, I have used my iPhone 10 for five years straight on and the battery was getting slower and slower. So I was thinking of replacing the battery, which cost me 200 bucks. But 
the support of the phone is going to be closed in 2024, which is next year. So this year I upgraded to a newer iPhone because it just made sense. Instead of spending 200, getting a new battery and the support will be closed, I spent that money for a new phone. So you can see, in my opinion, if you haven't used your phone for at least four years, I really don't see a point of upgrading. In 2020, right before Corona, I decided to invest into stocks. And if you're in the stock market, you know what happened. It basically crashed, so perfect time to start. But other than that, I stick with it and I picked stocks on my own. I definitely did some right choices, but I also did some bad ones. And overall, I invested a lot of time in picking all the individual stocks. So at the end, I made about 8 to 10% every year from the stock market, which is basically what you get if you invest into an index fund, but with all the time spent on research. This made me reconsider my whole strategy about two or three months ago. I basically sold all my stocks and I invested into broad index funds. Because like that, I don't have to do any research. I just invest my money every month and let time do its work. And that's about it for today. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you guys. And with that being said, I see you next week and have a great one.